see, polymers are formed when monomers, the smaller units, are joined together through dehydration synthesis at the polar sites where there's a hydroxyl and a hydrogen, and they bond together and form a covalent bond. This is called dehydration synthesis. Um, yes, yeah, Stu. Yo, Professor Bro, I don't get it. Mr. Dent, did you read the book before class? Mm. Did you do any of the study questions before class? Mm. Mr. Dent, this is why you do not know what is going on. You are supposed to read the book and do the study questions before class. When I was a student, I would spend hours taking notes, reading the chapter, doing the study questions so I had a clue. Okay, boomer. I am not a boomer. I'm an Xer. I don't get it. Like, what's a polar site? Polar sites, you know where the functional groups are? Like, is a polar site like Alaska? Where the functional groups are, you know, the hydroxyl group and a hydrogen that's on another functional group, like maybe a hydroxyl or an amine, and it comes together, hydroxyl and the hydrogen come together to form water, water, hydro, dehydration synthesis. Dehydration synthesizers, what's that? No, not synthesizers, not dehydration synthesizers. Yeah, maybe you should use some synthesizers. This would be a lot more interesting. <laughs> Perhaps synthesizers are the answer. Whoa, that's lit. Are you supposed to be like the weekend or something? I'm not the weekend. I'm the weekday. Sing me blinding lights, bro. It's not blinding lights. It's binded polar sights. Sit back and be amazed. Synthesizers.